All right, welcome back to Mind Inspector. Um, this is the Spectre sector um, continuing. I want to go into what you guys want to start seeing out of the Bat Rep armies. Um, I was talking to Spectre while, and we came, I was kind of like noticing for a bit I was into playing a lot of the Imperial Guard, a lot of stuff going on, which I enjoy the Imperial Guard, they're really definitely a fun army. But I have four armies. Um, the latest one you did get to see the Dark Elder, I just built that. But I have the Tyrants, a lot of you have seen that was the earlier part of it. Um, but I didn't have, get any more battle reports besides the one. And I also have Grey Knights, which I haven't done any battle reports for that yet. I did the showcase, but not have a battle report for that. Um, Spectre Wild has Sisters Battle, and he also has Dark Eldar, and he does have Space Wolves. Um, and I worked on the painting aspect on Spectre Wild, but more or less, he has these armies in the build. Uh, Spectre Foreman, you saw his Death Spectres, but he's just got into Blood Angels. He's trying to get those ready, so they'll be ready for some bat rep, of course. So we have those from the Spectre Studio, but we have a great hobby shop where you that begin to see a lot of diversity of armies that we've been looking into. Um, of course, the latest on Tau, we've seen some Space Marines, Chaos Demons. Um, so some pretty bizarre armies that probably haven't seen a lot in other battle reports um, all around on the YouTube website. So what do you like to see for matchup wise? We can see we can work a, a situation out with a player and, and get that to you. So again, this is set up for you just to begin to start adding comments to this page so we can make Mindless Spectre a little bit more of, of an interaction with you as a community on the internet to really respond to what you guys are talking about and make some subjects and, and really answer and, and go to the focus you want to do. Um, with, I am definitely building Spectre Studios for you out there. It's part of my fun entertainment. It's all about you guys there. Um, in that aspect there, um, you've seen that I put up the crossroads on a couple of the bat reps that's really playing. But I've been in contact with Durgo Hobbies over in Yarmouth, Maine. I'm talking to the owner Devin there, and we're seeing if we can work a relationship where we can get some gaming going over there. So if you are a follower up here in Maine, and you do go to Jericho Hobbies, please make a comment and see if we can arrange a battle for it with yourself. You know, so part of that bat rep of armies you want to see, um, you have some players out there in, in Jericho Hobbies. Back to the more than willing to throw it out um, and get a battle report all recorded and uh, and do that for the Jericho Hobbies um, gaming community as well. Uh, I'm going to put underneath Bolali myself. From what you see on here is my brother. Um, Spectre FedSend, you may not see much on a lot of the 40k community, but Spectres really came from um, my tribute to what Bioware did with Mass Effect, and that's where the logo for the Spectres kind of came in. Um, we started that in Battlefield 1943, where a bunch of my friends decided that Spectre was a cool way to kind of tag ourselves and really make us a bit of a clan. Um, it stuck, uh -uh. I've, I've gone with it, and my friends have made a bit of a community of our gaming lives back. And, and that's where we can kind of move forward in other aspects. Spectre FedSend is a lot more of the Xbox play. Uh, so he has a blog site. I'm going to link that on below the page there. So if you're interested in what's going on in some of the Xbox world with some of the Spectres there, check out his blog page and, uh, and see what you think about that. He's covered some very interesting subjects there. Uh, and, and also looking around the YouTube uh, um, world. He's found some interesting episodes and stuff like that that would be awesome to check out. And as a big UFC fan, he's also covered a lot of those things. But there's a lot of stuff going on in Spectre Fenson's world. And you know, his brother and a contact. Um, go please check him out. Okay, as we near the end of the episode, I'll go into future interest. One of the things that's been kind of buzzing around is Sixth Edition. Um, Beasts of War have been putting up some interesting um, leaks um, from what's going on, and it sounds a lot like Warhammer Fantasy meets oh, joining 40K. And I'm not really sure if Games Workshop is becoming fascinated that Privateer Press has gotten um, perhaps models that can cross range where. Uh, War Hordes, War Machine, however you want to put it, Hordes, War Machine, um, can merge and play together. Um, I'm not sure if that's something in their mindset. Because the latest one coming out where um, 
units now can stand and shoot um, is rather odd and disturbing because you're talking the difference from Warhammer Fantasy being of the strength of being the wound and then that negates a say aspect which you have so many models and tons of ranks it's kind of plays itself out. You do that in 40k you know with AP weaponry and most times you know like the marines and the charging units that need to dark Eldar orcs, Terrans, chaos most times, the chaos would be invulnerable say these models are dead so to balance a, you know a marine getting able to sit there and shoot with an AP fire weapon Pretty risk day. Um, they might be balancing from part of what I'm saying. Hearing is both skill one, maybe negative modifier two. But you know, it's it's an interesting thought process. If if you're reducing the capacity to hit, why would people do it? And, and if that's aspect, why bother putting it in? So an interesting rule change to that. Um, but I am interested coming up pretty soon with summer of flyers. We hopefully we'll see a lot of things going with that. Um, I have one for the Dark Eldar, so hopefully rules will help um, support it being a lot more effective. And I like to see what how things are really going to play themselves out with that. Um, a lot of big talk for, for what we're doing and I'm building up is the apocalypse. I'm um, driving a lot of stuff before twelve and try to put that in play. And we've seen a lot of people in our community. You know, yay, nay, because um, it's a tough situation. You know, a lot of people, you know, the hobby itself in general is a very expensive hobby. Um, you know, you're talking four to five hundred dollars for a starting set to be competitive, um, to go out and play a hobby shop, start going on. And these are plastic models, you know, the, you know in most cases in that price range. Um, then you can have for your elite and special units, you're going with fine cash, which again is, you know, not cheap. So, to venture into um, Forge World to have a lot of those type of models there is not easy for a lot of players and I completely understand that. So the formations are always nice, but again, you, the basic collecting hobby of 40k is not going to be holding around you know, three land raiders to make a formation you know, for, for a lot of aspects. You buy the one land raider, most of the people now are magnetizing, so the land raider can be a redeemer or shader. And you can build in pieces of that. So, with that aspect, it's not easy for a player to build into a conference. Yeah, I completely understand that. It's not for everyone. But for those of us who've been playing for for ten years or plus, Apocalypse is definitely a nice way to to use all the models you have. And and for myself, for those that you know are following me, part of my community, you know, I have the head. It's, it's you know it's a very expensive model, a beautiful model, very cool, cool looking. And to, to think that I, you know, for the time I spent the money on it and went with it and went in that direction, I know that you don't get to use it that much. And any opportunity to kind of really put it on the table is, is, is really a, a reward in itself. <laughs> and I hope people that kind of are going into this hobby think about this. And it's a cool aspect too is because, you know, a couple of my friends already in this aspect of my community are bringing me demon lords and this big bad like a little bloodthirst I'm talking to lords for four gold. And I just think that's fascinating and awesome. Like I, I want to see the devastation. I don't care that they have this. I'm not scared. You know, it's to see these monstrous creatures just lurking over, looming over land raiders with bastions and anything. And just able to wipe out what large droves uh, of units. You know, it's that's that's the cool thing about apocalypse. It's about seeing great Visual devastation, and we and, and Spectre Studios had a great time putting a bat rep with me, um, Hippie Thor, and, and Amberclad. We got to do one, and um, you know, Hippie had a stomp, and, and it went off with a cannon. And it, it was really fortunate that we had the camel close going on, but it was FAQ to really keep their butts alive. But to see that but that have the devastation to do that was just awesome. So really, really like, you know, want people to kind of go forward and really support Apocalypse and really get things going on with that. And, and I hope Spectre Studios will be able to do that. So this is here to wrap up for, for what I'm doing here on Mind of the Spectre. And remember, this is a community beginning. You know, I want to give a shout out to, to Mini War Gaming. I, I watch you guys. It's been inspiring to go. So. So Matt, Dave, Dan, who just been jumped jumped on board, you guys are awesome. 
I enjoy what you do. It's really helped me move forward in my own video. And for those that are beginning to kind of follow, you know, YouTube following on a very specific hobby that you have, like K, you know, Spectre Studio, do a little Xbox and everything like that, you know, thank you for, for really kind of bringing your support into it. And we really want to do more for you. So, so hit the comments below on, on the page and we'll see what we can put more episodes together that you want to see for content and maybe we can put those things there for you so you're really interested and really continue to follow it. I'm really going to try to do this as much as, long, much as possible. I'm giving a, a full year to see what things kind of go and really hope to build interest and hope it's not a full waste of time. I mean, I do have some subscribers. I'd like to get that larger, not for selfish pretty much reasons, but to really know that I can do some more to entertain and I'm really trying to get the people around me to help me produce these things and get these things out because I think we're really moving forward and again, you know, you know, guys at Mini Work Gaming has really helped inspire that. We're a small little child to what they do for a publication. You know, we're not a hobby shop at Spectre Studio here. We're just a bunch of friends that do care, that work very hard uh, at our own regular job and try to come at this as a definitely a hobby player like yourselves and try to put something out there that you can find entertaining, inspiring, to help you move forward in your own gaming and hopefully you know entertain you while you're paying your model. You know, I do that for myself. I put many work gaming on and find you guys that put out your own YouTube videos and as I'm sitting in pain, I'm watching your videos and really enjoying them and really seeing how to beat Necrons, how to beat other enemies that I don't get to see often and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. So again, subscribe. Hit the comments down below and we'll see what we can do for Spectre Studio and bring you the best that you guys want. Alright, thanks again.